Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Study Abroad with Sarah. Uh, today I'm here to make an important and urgent video on applying for NAVA scholarship, the Stephen Bernard scholarship. They have released a new notification uh, which says it is a supplementary call of application for about 500 students. Uh, this is really an important video for the students who are already in Poland for their uh, studies October intake and also for the students who are coming in the month of February for the winter intake. This is a supplementary scholarship as I mentioned earlier. Um, it's only for 500 students and they have released uh, this notification today on 23rd of October. I'm so sorry that I could not upload videos regarding studies uh, because my schedule was really tight and uh, hectic um, but today i wanted to upload this video so that it will be easier for my fellow colleagues or the upcoming students uh, to apply for the scholarship let us move towards the application to check how to apply so friends as we already know we need to search the website nawa.gov.pl once we search this website in the google we need to select the very first option uh, if the page is in polish we can translate that to english uh, once we scroll down there will be different options like students and research uh, i have made a detailed video about this you can go and check that video as well for now we need to click on students just scroll down a little bit click on foreign students Today we are looking for NAVA scholarship, Banat scholarship. Click on Banat scholarship program. If you do not have an account with NAVA, you would require to register yourself, create an account to apply for the scholarship. Click on call for proposals. You can read all these descriptions. I have explained each and everything in the previous video. But this video is really urgent for the students to apply before 29th of October. Uh, sorry, the 27th of October, 3 p.m. Or the call can be closed earlier even uh, if they receive around 500 applications. Once they receive this, they will close the application. So it is first come first serve basis. I hope this will be easier for you after you watch this video. Click on fill in the application form. Here you will be redirected to the page uh, where you can log in if you already have an account or if not, you can register yourself by clicking on create an account and enter your details, your full name as in the passport. If you do not have the surname, that is the last name, you can just use a dash or a hyphen. Enter your email address, your password, accept the terms and conditions and click on register. As soon as you click on register, you will receive a confirmation mail to your email address. Just go and confirm it by clicking on the email. Come back to the, to the NAVA website. Click on login. Enter your email ID and password. Login to the website. Once you log in, this page will be displayed which says welcome to the NAVA system and it will give you the instructions how to apply, what are the steps that you should follow in the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. At the first go, I too got confused in this page where to click. And if I'm clicking here um, in the programs and in the conclusions, it is not catching up. You need to click on close guide first. Then you will be redirected to other page. Here, select the option students um, recruitment for one program. Click on complete application. Select your citizenship, whichever, you, whichever country you are, uh, if it is mentioned in the NAVA scholarship. Click on it. And then click on the very first option, uh, personal details. There are four or five columns that is required for you to fill. Uh, click on personal details. It's really easy, just as you register yourself for Facebook or something. Let's start filling up. Uh, the personal information your name first name and the last name if you do not have last name you can enter the hyphen as mentioned and uh, date of birth your gender citizenship um, the place of birth of your country city and the city where you're born your father's and your mother's name the passport details then passport number expiry date the country where it is issued and uh, you need to upload a passport pdf okay and 
this is address if you are already in Poland you need to update your current address in Poland your city your zip code your street and if you do not have a house number you can enter it as none then the next column is uh, if if there is any emergency or something they are asking for your for someone whom you can trust their contact details either your parents your friends whomever you want to uh, you can enter the details their first name last name telephone number and email address and also their address after we enter the personal details let us go to the second column that is regarding your studies you need to enter where you did your undergraduation the type of the university name city field and area year you graduated country where the document is issued and um, what what is the title of the degree you have received and the diploma bachelor degree engineer or other enter your um ogpa or your marks and how it was calculated ranging 1 to 10 or 1 to 100 then let us go to the third column that is um, where you want to study in Poland which is the degree program second cycle or first cycle name of the university and this is the third option is for a recommendation letter from a Polish university if you are already in university you can request your professor to provide recommendation letter it will have an impact on your application if you do not have any recommendation letter it is not mandatory you can just skip that part and go to the fourth column that is of declaration just read each and everything declare it accept the terms and conditions save the document if you want to reread the document go through it again so that there should not be any errors in document and in, in your application uh, once you have entered um, the fifth option it will ask you how did you find about this website you need to enter whatever or wherever you found it from or you can also mention you found it from my channel then uh, you need to accept it that's it all done and we are good to go finger crossed i hope each and everyone who applies for the scholarship receive this and it will be easier for them to study in poland all the best that's all for today take care bye see you in the next video